So my name is Natalie Martiniello and I began as a student member with the career while completing my PhD and I'm now a researcher and a clinician uh, working within the career as well. So my interest in research on Braille and aging stems both from my experience as a clinician teaching Braille and from my own experience as someone who has used Braille throughout my life. The goal of my research on Braille and aging is really to better understand how age-related declines impact the ability to learn Braille and to develop strategies to address those gaps. In this research on Braille and aging, uh, we really explored Braille from different perspectives. So we interviewed older adults who had learned Braille and also explored their ability to read Braille um, in different ways, including through the use of technology. And so we really drew on um, the knowledge that clinicians and Braille users had from throughout the entire project. I'm most proud of the fact that we really incorporated the voices of clients who will benefit directly from this research from the very beginning. And I think that's in large part due to the fact that I'm a member of the community. And um, I think that opens the door to a lot of really interesting questions that we might not otherwise have thought about. Based on these findings, we've already started uh, developing different tools to improve practice. So I've been working on the development of training information for clinicians, um, drawing on the recommendations from the studies. Um, we've also started uh, working on the development of future studies to better understand where gaps are in practice to continue building on what we've already learned. So it's really just an opportunity to start a conversation on Berlin aging that didn't exist before and um, build on it from here. What I hope to see in um, future research is greater equity, diversity, and inclusion. I hope that one day the fact that I am a researcher with a, a disability with a visual impairment, that that's not surprising or anything that's particularly worth talking about. I hope that there will be more opportunities for people with these diverse experiences to contribute to research because I think it makes what we do a lot richer and uh, opens a lot more opportunities to think about things differently. The next steps that Natalie and I are working on are ideas that center around the topic of her postdoctoral fellowship. Equity, diversity, and inclusion, especially together with accessibility, are really the key for overcoming hurdles and barriers for people with any disability. And I think that the next steps really need to take this idea further that we don't need to worry about it anymore. In an ideal situation, it would be just another day in just another lab with just another student without disability playing any role. My name is Walter Widditch. I'm an assistant professor at the University of Montreal in the School of Optometry. I represent the two career sites that also study vision rehabilitation, and I'm Natalie's supervisor for her PhD. If I would have a free wish is that I could open people's minds to the possibilities of accessibility, not just ramps and doors and things, but uh, an openness in spirit towards being different. Once we have achieved this, I think we will have taken a huge step forward.